Hey, welcome back and in today's video, we got an update with the Karen Ledbetter child abuse allegations. She was backpedaling, changing her story. Um, we have a good turnout and I do want to say this is why we voice, this is why we make videos. I encourage other YouTubers to follow the same. Before we get into the update, I do want to address something. To the YouTubers who are making the decision for the authorities that phone calls should stop being made to CPS and other government organizations, by what authority do you have to instruct concerned citizens not to report a call? That is not your call, and it sort of seems like you want to call some attention to yourself by inserting yourself in such a way. Stop it already. Here's a little 411 on mandated reporting in the state of Texas. When a child makes an outcry, it doesn't matter how long ago the alleged abuse happens. All citizens in the state of Texas are mandated to report, and it doesn't matter if allegations have already been investigated. In the state of Texas, all citizens are mandated to report, so please stop acting like Texas abuse hotlines are being overwhelmed and hired you to be their public affairs liaison. Sounds like I said that wrong. Um, but generally this person is saying that other YouTubers were telling people to stop calling in these abuse allegations to stop trying to save this child. Now I myself don't know any YouTubers that were telling people to stop reporting on this. Um, but if I did, better be glad I didn't catch you. Uh, but I do want to say and I want to stress this to all youtubers um, We have a voice and what we what we say with that voice really matters We have the potentiality to save lives to change the events to do something that matters and counts and y You need to take these things serious. I know these topics are hard. I know they're hard to talk about I know these make you feel some certain way But that should not matter because the positive impact that you can make is worth it Another thing is, is that as this tweet says, Miss Karen Ledbetter also streamed herself cutting her own arms. We've heard Houston police did nothing to protect this child. This woman is a stranger, but her brand of abuse is not. Okay, two things. Number one, if in fact this woman was cutting herself live, this is very disturbing. And she, she might have been doing it as a joke, joke or not. There are people out there that cut themselves. There are people out there that are uh, mentally unstable and cannot emotionally uh, take these things. It can be very triggering and it can lead people to suicide. That's one. Number two is the fact that if Houston police did nothing, I don't want to sit there and, and think that they chose to neglect this situation, but I more believe that uh, possibly they'd never before had an influx of people calling in from the YouTube platform. It was probably something they'd never experienced before. Um, what, what I think though is that now more than ever, YouTube can be seen as a platform to utilize to save lives. And I think that this is something that we should highlight. I think this is something that other content creators should definitely focus on. This is a big deal um, because we spread awareness. People did call in and now the young child has been removed by CPS and the mother now has all the necessary resources to improve the situation. Thank you to everyone who called and reported. Thank you to those who worked tirelessly behind the scenes. This is why we do this. Now the child is in protective custody. The mother is probably now really thinking about her actions and just by watching her and and how she was acting, like listen, I, um, I myself was brought up in an abusive environment. I have witnessed these countless events so many times. I can recognize it easy. I can sympathize with it. That's why I do the channel that I do. We're, we're the internet's adventure where we, uh, we solve mysteries, but also I use my voice as a platform to spread these important messages because I feel like it can help people. And I wish that people would have done that a long time ago. There could have been a lot more people protected but i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it there i just wanted to give you guys a quick update on this and let you know that the child is safe now we did a good job uh thank you to everybody that did help out with this and uh really proud of everyone so as interesting as this is there's always something that's more interesting to me that's right you guessed it I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for this like. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video.
it's uh it's good like i'm glad that that kid was safe uh but there's so many other people out there suffering if you guys know uh anything else we need to spread awareness to uh go to the repzilla twitter the discord server the links are in the description below and we can uh we can get to work on these things because i know that you're repping if you're not repping you're gregging and how do you become a member of the rep squad well all you can do is subscribe to notifications turned on be in the comment section to every single video because i'm going to be there greg the cat is going to be there and the rest of the rep squad community is going to be there too and i expect to see you there as well that's right greg tell him to come because this channel loves you greg what do you think about that new food? Yeah?